The 22-23 season is officially upon us, and it starts here in at the Holman Center in Terre Haute, Indiana. That one nearly taken away there by Calhoun. Instead, it's driven. The shot won't go. Folks got it. She is blocked. Anderson goes down to Folks, and she is blocked again. To take a look at that block, Adrian Folks has had a tough time against Brooke Flowers so far today. She's got two blocks. The reigning Atlantic 10 Conference defensive player in the year of the year. Indiana State's going to have a tough time getting that ball down low. Glanton with two players on her. Tries to get it up. Flowers with another block. What do you do? Glanton gets it again. That one might have been denied. Looked like it was going to go out of bounds. Westerfeld tracks it down. Kane is blocked. Glanton with the handoff. 12 points for her. Williams had it. She doesn't have the number. She goes right at Flowers. A hesitation doesn't matter. Flowers was right there. Forced to slow it down in the half court. Post touch. Tata working against Flowers. Gives it up. It's a block. Touch here for Taylor Goss. And there's a block. Defensive player of the year. She is a defensive block shot specialist. Right on cue. Goble drives. Look at her again. And a matchup against Wichita State in early December. Miss inside. Brooke Flowers the rebound. Rejected. The Castro's having a good night. Blocked by Flowers. With 12 on the shot clock. Straight down the lane and stuffed by Brooke Flowers. Bailey Butler around Clegg. Blocked by Brooke. Colin Surrey alongside you on ESPN+. Plus. Levy stuffed by Bree Johns. Brooke Flowers has a second rejection. Larkins works it into the forecourt. Post touch, and it's a block from Brooke Flowers. Denying what goes by. Flowers stayed straight up. Brooke Flowers is 100% from three for her career. She's made one each year of her career. Here she has a block. Now leads all Billikens with six points in the game. Get a post touch. Interior pass. It's a block. Of Villa Ambrosi hands it off. Now they feed the post. Here's that freshman, Duffney, step through in Flowers. A chance to erase that big 12-point lead and take a lead of their own here. Flowers feed the post. Working against Brooke. She has a seventh block. Larkins left it short. Offensive rebound. Demers holding her pivot foot. An eighth block from Flowers. Passed up the three. Duffney puts it on the floor, blocked by Brooke Flowers. Belmont still has yet to attempt a shot right on cue, but it's blocked. I definitely think she planned that one. There was a bunch of those yesterday. Thought about the step back, short clock, hot potato for Jones, no. Rebound Miller, put back, blocked by Flowers. It's a 40 point win over the rival in the midshipman. And Flowers has that first block of the game. Back on, and it wasn't just the four players. There's a handful of assistants who came from Longwood as well. As Shelton has the offensive rebound, and it's another block for Flowers. We'll see if they get the offense going. Adams around Flowers, denied. Flowers, third block. Air Force at a double-digit run in the, second, in the second quarter as Flowers finds an open Smith. Can't get it to go. Adams again keeps it going. Rejected. Marissa Warren replaces her. And there it is, 1,000 for Brooke Flowers. She is now tied with Arlene Lampy atop the St. Louis career rebounding list. A timeout taken by Rebecca Tillett, and there's the celebration. I think her team's a little happy for her. 1,000 career rebounds for Brooke Flowers. Already right the all-time St. Louis block leader. She stays on the court after that impressive milestone. Look at that jubilation. Flowers now the outright career record holder. It was really cool. She got her 1,000th rebound late on in the fourth quarter against Air Force when SLU had that game well in hand on Sunday. And uh, Rebecca Chillett immediately called timeout. McMakin, nice curl off the screen. Missed it too strong and Debella the rebound. And... Uh, the entire team burst off the bench. They surrounded Flowers, who has another block. That's her 304th of her career. Frank attacks on Calhoun, blocked by Flowers. 
Hansen switch on Flowers. This will be interesting. Hansen tries the scoop and Flowers says. Change the way that Illinois State has to defend here in the first quarter. Strong hands. McGinnis Taylor had it swatted. Billikens lead it 13 to 11. Fast offensive start for both of these teams. Wong hanging in the air. Can't get it to go. Got her own miss. Stuffed by Brooke Flowers. Wong looking inside. Deanna Wilson into the chest of Flowers. Stuffed her. Brooke Flowers. Deanna Wilson had it blocked, it looked like, by Brooke. And she... Wong with two on the clock. Blocked by Brooke Flowers. Wilson, fake handoff. Will take it into the paint herself. Stuffed by Brooke Flowers. What is this defense forcing Ball State to do? I think they're forcing Ball State to play a little bit quicker than they want to. And it's forcing out two turnovers. And another big... Down low. Over her last 24 attempts from downtown prior to that one. Good move inside, but it won't go. There's a block. Duran feeds the post. Colbert going to work. Had it stuffed by Brooke Flower. Shot clock off. Colbert, shot fake, stuffed. Right, in traffic. The up and under got it blocked. Shoots. In the lane, no. Rebound, block. Memphis got a near turnover, now they do. It's Brown behind the defense. Flowers trying to chase her down as she blocked it from behind. And that's what Flowers does. Tyranny Brown with a drive in, and there is Flowers. Love looking for Taylor down low. Good hands to get that pass. It's another Brooke Flowers block. Kansas City area led Blue Springs south to a Final Four appearance a year ago. And a block by Brooke Flowers. Taylor right back out. Three-pointer too strong from Mason. Q Love with the rebound. Another rejection. Trying to dump it into Promise. They do. She had it blocked by Flowers. The Saluki 71% as a team, and she missed both. Another block. Make it six. Mason looking inside for Promise. Taylor power dribble blocked again by Brooke.